and with a couple of clicks, there we go. Hello and welcome to AI Plus More, your source for everything AI related and beyond. Today we have something truly groundbreaking to talk about that's set to redefine the way websites are created. That's right, we're diving deep into the world of Framer AI, the cutting edge tool that's taking website design to a whole new level. So whether you're a seasoned designer or just dipping your toes into the web design waters, stay tuned because this review is for you. We're here at the main Framer AI platform and we're gonna go ahead and create our website. You can see here there's a bunch of options, but if you don't have any code experience, you're not gonna want to click on HTML. If you have a previous site, you of course could, but we're gonna start from scratch. Click on start with AI over here. We have a bunch of options over here. We'll click on this one called Framer AI. This should open up by itself, but in this case, uh, we opened it up manually. We'll go ahead and create a business, let's say, Let's see what that comes up with. And it's generating our page. You can see over here while it's generating, it gives us the palettes on the right. You can choose any of them. We can make it super colorful. This all changes while it, we're in the middle of generating the website. The cool thing is if you click on a palette twice, you're shuffling the colors of the same palette. Well, though it's not done generating, you can see it's still loading some text over here. I can tell you about the display fonts. Over here, these fonts are just the headings. We can change that at any point. I really like that one. Let's switch a few more. That's good, but it doesn't really fit the brand that we created. Let's go back to the palettes and maybe do something since it's a cookbook company, a uh, cookbook publisher something a lot more green would be interesting as soon as your site is ready to go live you can of course hit on publish i'm going to click on that right now uh, we can open it and see how that looks on desktop that's gorgeous even the stock photos are tinted to show the color palette. Let's change up the colors. I'm not really digging this orange. Greenery is a lot better. Um, it's more like it, but it's not quite what we're looking for. Let's refresh this and get some different palettes over here. This might be okay. That's a lot better to what I had in mind. Now let's continue talking about fonts. We can go down here to the text fonts. I really like the ones. Let's let's zoom in so you can see a little bit more. There we go. See, and it'll change everything. Oh, I really like this one. This see this little shiny button over here. What this means is there's an AI icon to rewrite every part. If you don't like your whole site, you could generate it again, but if you only wanna change a specific section, you could. Let's do it like that. And if you would only like to change one specific piece of text, you can do so, and it'll generate it in less than a second. It's context aware, so it won't give you something completely out of the ordinary. If we go over here at the bottom left, you can insert a whole bunch of pages that are not just a landing page, like a teaser or a blog. Let's go ahead and do a blog article. It'll take a second and that's great. Uh, let's name it publisher blog. We can at any point come back to our original landing page and you can add as many canvases as you want. We'll go ahead and delete those. But for now, let's go back to our landing page. Uh, we can add our social icons over here. If you just click it, it'll get added. 
you can just add your latest Instagram post over here. By getting closer to the team and clicking on the image, you can change that with this button, replace with Instagram. You can delete any of these pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. And if you double click on an image, you can choose a new image and select one from your computer. You can change the resolution to full to have full quality pictures. And you can change the sizing and how it works to stretch, to fit or to fill. Of course, you can change how to crop the picture, but we're gonna go ahead and continue with this one. If at any point you want to shuffle again your palette, you can click on this button over here on the right. And you'll get inside the same palette and it'll always update on the two other versions, the tablet or the phone version. See, I'd say this is a really slick phone version that's super practical to scroll through. And coming back to here, let's go ahead and change that image. We'll double click on it. We'll go to Pexels and write cookbook to see what it comes up with. That's pretty good. We'll click on choose image. And after a second, we can change that. Let's change the cropping just a little bit, but I do like that though. Uh, let's maybe change it to that. So it shows a little bit more of the cooking and not as much of the book. So let's say we like this changes, we can hit on publish. And the cool thing is it'll tell you everything that you've changed so far. You click on update and we go back to our website, hit refresh. And there we go. Just a quick word on pricing. You can see here that there's a free, the mini, the basic and the pro plan at five 15 and $30 respectively. You can pause the video right now to see the differences. The main ones are for bigger sites, for landing pages, or for just hobby projects. And the more visitors you need, the higher you should go. They're all pretty affordable though. The main difference in the pro is that you get analytics. So keep that in mind. And with that, that's all from me today here at Plus More. Make sure to check out Framer on the link in the description. Check out these other videos. Take care.